Hi, everybody. This is Jeffrey. This is Right Cover. <clears throat> and this is the reading for Tuesday, May 11. Uh, please like, subscribe, comment, press the bell for notifications. I'm offering 30 minute readings for $30 through the end of the month. And um, what else? Oh, yeah. I have a line of astrology t shirts and stickers. Who doesn't love a sticker? <laughs> Uh, and all the information is below. And I'm going to start on watercolors today. I'm going to play with watercolors. I don't know. It's going to be a mixed media thing. Ooh, mixed media, mixed media. Maybe I'll get my little friends, the birds, to help me. Sort of like, remember that movie with Amy Adams where she's this uh, Cinderella character? She comes to life. Remember that one? I don't remember what it was called. It was such a good movie. It was so funny. She had all the vermin helping her. <laughs> All right. One, two, three. I guess I'm in a goofy mood. Okay. Here we go. Ooh, oh no. Okay. The three is about collaboration. And uh, it's very creative. So this is about um, like a contract. This can, sometimes involves real estate, but this is about collaboration between three parties and they're all bringing something to the table and it's all valuable. And it doesn't have to be three, it could be two, it could be five, you know. Uh, but it's, it's about community. It's about the sense of community and, um, you know, maybe like a contract or an understanding. It's like, you give me this, I'll give you that. Okay, fine. Then we have, you know, being sated, right? This is the fairy tale card. So, you know, everything's lovely. It's really about being emotionally sated. So maybe there's something to do with this contract or an understanding or a, like, a, a, you know, you shook hands with somebody, right? And said, okay, uh, I'll show up at this and this time to do this and that. And then the other one says, I'll give you this money or, you know. So anyway, I, I think there's something going on like a collaborative effort that's going to make you feel really full and rich and, you know, happy. And then maybe it doesn't work out. <laughs> or maybe, you know, there's some unforeseen something that you know like some, a wrench gets thrown into it right a wrench gets thrown into it okay so I, we don't want to end on that do we so be practical be practical about it you know because sometimes you know somebody offers you something and you get all excited i mean this has happened to me a thousand times well i was going to say a million and then i said stop yourself and say a thousand so let's say 10,000, <laughs> you know, it, it's like, well, I was hoping for that. I was looking forward to it. I was expecting it. I was kind of relying on it. It feels really good. And then all of a sudden it's like, oh boy. So it goes. But she's, you know, she's really, she's very nurturing. But overall, the, the feeling that I always get from her is like, this is the practical queen. Because the, the queen of cups can be a little bit lost in her uh, fantasy, right? Well, the, the queen of wands is pretty practical too. But the queen of wands sometimes can move very quickly, you know, very impulsively. This one is like slow and steady. And, you know, this is like the most reliable queen in a way in my interpretation. So, you know, interesting. So here she is in the garden. And look, sometimes our garden isn't what we want it to be, right? Like, would I love to live on some grand estate with all these manicured gardens? Sure. Um, but it's sort of like, well, I have a little plot and I grow, you know, five or six things and and, you know, 
the things that I grow are practical, right? So let's say, uh, you know, I grow herbs because I can use them. I grow aloe vera in case somebody gets a burn. I, you know, I grow things that are useful sort of thing. So just, you know, maintain your, uh, there's something very dignified about her too. She's very dignified. So, you know, maintain your dignity. Sometimes things don't work out the way they, they, you know, that you thought they were. And sometimes it's a blessing, you know, it's like, well, I really hope to do this and that or to get this and that job. And then it didn't work out. And then you feel like, oh, nothing's gonna work out. It's like, you didn't get the job because there's something better. You didn't get the job or whatever it is, or, you know, this contract fell through maybe because somebody that you were dealing with was actually not honest and, you know, you didn't see it or feel it. And, you know, like the universe, because this is, this really like is this outside surprising force that comes through. So even though it seems like a catastrophe or something, it's really like, it came through because it was supposed to, because you were supposed to like reimagine a plan or redo uh, uh, a contract or, you know, uh, do business with somebody else or et cetera. So don't, you know, some people see this card and it's like, oh my God, it's the end of the world. Not, not if she's, you know, the practical one. It's like, okay, let's see what the situation is, what the damage is what is here, what isn't here, and let's work with what we have. So, there you go. Um, you should be very full, you know, when you have like this and that, it should be like a very full day. And um, I guess expect the unexpected is kind of the energy of it. And, um, you know, it's interesting. Sometimes I throw these cards and then, you know, like the next day, it's like, well, it didn't really kind of work out like that. And uh, this whole expect the unexpected is, is kind of like, um, you know, being prepared, being prepared. And I was talking to somebody last night and, um, you know, I've been of the head you know, because of the, my experiences in my life, it's like um, a lot of times things don't work out, really. And it's like, okay, okay. You know, I can't hang my hat on. Oh, it's going to be da da da. The world, really, for the past few years, has been like anything can happen anywhere to anyone. Anything can happen anywhere to anyone at any time. Like that's really the world we live in. That's really been the world we live in for a long time, but it hasn't been so obvious. So for me, the thing that I really do rely on is really my own relationship with my own soul and my own relationship with spirit. Because that I can rely on. And that is something I can go to every day. And you know, that is like the steady, um, I don't know, plane that I build myself and my sense of self on. You know, money comes and goes, jobs come and go, relationships come and go. One day you're fat, one day you're skinny, right? One day your friend is here, the next day your friend is gone, you know? So, what I rely on is my sense of self as a spiritual being, right? Who's connected to the earth and to the, and to heaven. And that's what I plug into because that I can rely on. That's my little take. So expect the unexpected and remain calm. Blessings.